Hi, it's Jade from Restore Nutrition and today for the Belfast Food Network Nourish Cook at Home program I will be showing you how to make a really tasty takeaway style Chinese tofu and broccoli. Lots of people have asked me about tofu and how to cook it. I just thought I would incorporate in it in a recipe along with some other lovely seasonal veg just to show how easy and simple it is to cook with. So the ingredients that I will be using for this lovely recipe include obviously some tofu. So this is a really nice organic tofu sourced from a company in the UK. Some of the lower grade tofu on the shelves is packed full of lots of nasty additives and chemicals so it's not necessarily very good for us. So we want to avoid them and get a good source where we can. Tofu is a really good source of protein and it's also very high in a substance called tryptophan. Tryptophan is the precursor to serotonin which you may know as our happy neurotransmitter which we obviously want to have in abundance in the body. I will also be using some broccoli which is a really amazing cruciferous veggie. We are so lucky that it's available in abundance seasonally in the UK right now. It is packed full of vitamin A, C, K magnesium iron calcium the list goes on but we really want to get broccoli in our diet it's so good for us some basmati rice some sesame seeds spring onions which are also seasonal right now some soy sauce or tamari which is the gluten-free alternative i'm using about a bit of corn flour some sesame oil and some agave syrup and some rice wine vinegar I've also got a veggie stock cube. I'll be making a bit of veggie broth to add onto the dish. Very finely chopped or grated fresh ginger. And if you don't have fresh, you can use some powdered ginger and some garlic cloves. And that's all the ingredients. So um, let's get cooking. Begin by adding one teaspoon of sesame oil and coconut oil to a pan. We will use this to cook the tofu ensuring to cook it on all sides around two minutes per side until golden brown. Once all sides have been cooked, we will remove and set it to the side. We will add it to the sauce mix later. Next, we add the broccoli with the veggie broth. This is simply the stock cube mixed with water. I used around three tablespoons of the broth we will leave this to steam on a low to medium heat for around five minutes. While the broccoli was cooking, I added some boiling water to the rice and put this on to cook as per the packet instructions. This was around 10 minutes for the basmati rice that I used. Once the broccoli has been steamed for five minutes or so, increase the heat of the ring Add the garlic, the ginger, and half a teaspoon of sesame oil. Stir this through and cook until soft. Then we will add the soy sauce or the tamari with the agave, the rice vinegar, and the cornstarch mix, which is simply one tablespoon of corn flour mixed with around two tablespoons of water. Then add the sesame seeds and mix through well. Now we can add the tofu that we cooked earlier and toss through the sauce mix. We will cook this for a few minutes. This dish would also work perfectly with chicken, beef or prawns. Don't be afraid to mix up the recipe and add whatever veggies you may have available at home or even add in a little bit of extra spice if that's what you like. Once the rice is cooked and drained, we are ready to serve. This dish makes enough for two main portions. Once the dish is all plated up, it works really well to add some sliced spring onions and some sesame seeds to serve. There you have it, the perfect fake away Chinese takeout style tofu and broccoli.